charging station. I don't know. Am I going the right? No, 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 I'm not going the right place. We haven't had a leader like him in ages. Let's go Remember this way. Ah, here we go. Cool. What is it, Witcher? Who is that girl? Cynthia, a leashed sorceress. A charming expression. Do you also use muzzles? Leash means a connection between a sorceress and her assistant. An unfortunate term, I admit, but it explains how things are. Cynthia can tap my power, use my spells. She's a conduit. And she's learning along the way. It's convenient, and except for the name, not derisive at all. But you're not here to talk about Cynthia. Holy shit, there's so many, <laughs> so many things. Um, immortel. I found an immortel. Immortel. Excellent. Wait, no, I still want to talk to you. You wanted to discuss something. Yes. Uh, you said I need to find one. You said we'd need a magical object to cure Saskia. Any ideas where I might start looking? Magical items do not grow on trees, as you know. Luckily... This area has a long history. There's the Battle of Wraiths, the site of Sabrina Glevesig's death and suffering, the abandoned mines. I was hoping you'd be specific. I won't ask you to traipse around with a divining rod, but please try to be a little inventive. Ask the locals, that's always a good place to start. I dare say Alderman Burden knows every last stone in the area. Maybe you should see him. Will do, and I still have more questions. Don't go anywhere, damn it! I still want to talk. You wanted to discuss something. Yes. Uh, I have some questions about the curse. At the council, you mentioned artifacts were needed to undo the curse. Hmm. But I can't look for them now. I can do that. Why? I have my reasons. Tell me something. Did you notice? Not all the ghosts were aggressive. Yes. Most just disappeared when they touched the aura of a living person. I think the curse corrupts the ghosts of the fallen and turns them into draugers. Is that the witch's professional name for wraiths? Draugers are demons of war. They arise at sites of exceptionally vicious, bloody battles. Their bloodlust and hatred in condensed form. Can you kill them by conventional means? A silver sword is enough for a draugr. But as long as the curse remains active, new ones will arise. The soldiers' ghosts are the key. If I could turn the tide of the battle... For that, you'll need symbols of war belonging to those who fell in battle. Hatred, death, courage, and faith. All artifacts must be magically active and connected to the fallen, or they won't lure the ghosts. Right. I'll look around. Finding two will be enough. Get the symbols of hatred and death and leave the rest to me. I'd prefer courage and faith. Don't fuss. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Cecil seems to know a lot about the area. Okay, uh, know anything about blood curses? Know anything about blood curses? Do you? We're dealing with a fourth level curse, also known as the curse of the Archmistress. Well, well. I'm impressed. Thing is, until now I thought it was only a myth that such a curse couldn't be cast. You thought wrong. There are six confirmed cases of this curse being inflicted. What about confirmed cases of it being lifted? One. Achieved by a team of sorcerers led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear, hence the curse's other name. Sabrina Glevesig was on the team. Small world. That's not all. The curse investigated by Francesca and Sabrina was designed to end the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. They were cursed by Scarlet Rodelega, a complete madman, but very talented. An eclipse and wraiths also accompanied his curse. So Sabrina's curse is just a knockoff Rodolega. Exactly. Hmm. Well, I know enough. I'm good for now. I think we should be I'll good. I'll let you know when I learn something. I want to 
was Cynthia here? Who was she? Why is she not here? Uh, I'll take your leather. <laughs> I guess she's not here. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter to me, but... Oh, I saw this. I was like, is that a bobblehead? What is that? Look at that thing. Ew, on the, on the table. Ew, what is that? <laughs> well, we got a lot of arrows now to go to. We have the, the death and the hatred thing. Have to go talk to someone. Ugh, got a lot of stuff to do. What's this? Plan Shut up. Hunting magic, hunting magic. Uh, Scalen Burdon. Let's go talk to that guy. He looks like he's Lord underground. Tell in ambush. So let's go underground. Uh, I went the wrong direction. Which I don't think it really matters. Ah, down there. Probably should have gone the other way. Whatever, though. Yeah, he's right underground here. Okay. At least I know where to look. Uh, and then it looks like that other marker's underground as well. That's okay. At least I know where it is. Hello. You're that guy that asked me to do something, but I'm going to ignore you. Because <laughs> I don't want to do it. Let me tell you about the woman who fell Look, from the sky. another one. Hell. You let one human in and no time to go to Now I've heard enough of flying women. What's up, bro? Business or rest? Rest. And maybe some trading. Ah. Welcome. How can I help you? I'm looking for places steeped in magic. Do you remember any stories of sorcerers or magical places in the area? Not counting the fire spitting bits from three years ago. Well, a sorcerer once lived in the wood beyond Vergen. You could look there. Maybe something's left. You might also speak to Cecil. Nobody knows Vergen's history as well as our older man. Let me tell you about the good deal. Fell from the sky. So where is Cecil? Is he upstairs? He must be up. I think he's upstairs. Uh, here we go. Cecil! Where are you, my friend? Better not be doing anything weird. What? Oh, I guess, uh... Is he up? I don't get it. Okay. Well, there's someone there. They must be upstairs. Or, I guess, up above us. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! I walked through the door there. Because there's, he travels so There's definitely no one here. Geralt, right? I guess this is the guy. I don't know. Nice work with those specters, and Saskia. Well, I wager the gods didn't think you could save her. Your uncle, Cecil. Ah, I help him out here and there, managing Vergen. Scaling burdens, my name. Nice to meet you. Uh, place of power. Ooh, wanna arm wrestle? Hey, Scalen, wanna arm wrestle? I really like to wrestle, but uh, it's not the contest of the century. I just want to test you. Steady on. I've got conditions. First, you have to beat Yarpen and Sheldon. Show me what you're made of. I'm at the top of the pile. Okay. No. I I'm looking for this one. places near Virgin where <laughs> magic would be strong. Somewhere a sorcerer might have stayed. Let me think. Verfram, a summoner of elementals, once lived in the wood beyond Virgin. 
They say his creatures excavated the entire southern wall. You could also search the nearby ruins and abandoned crypts. If boulders with arms and legs aren't magic, then I don't know what is. Interesting. Good deal, good deal, man, good deal. So let's get out of here and uh, find some of these interesting things. Okay. <laughs> I just heard the puff and I was like, what in the world? Uh, hunting magic. We talked to him. We talked to the innkeeper, so let's head out this way. So, cut up here? Yeah. I don't exactly know where, uh, I had a dream. We were mining up the face. I don't know exactly where this thing's gonna be, but uh, make it look like it. Ah, right here. Here we go. Cool. Can I go up? I can't. Fuck me, dude. Seriously? How do I get out of here? Do I have to go all the way? Oh, the gate is closed. So I have to go talk to the gate guy. Oh wait, what? Oh, Cecil. Why didn't it update the main the mini map? Oh, whatever. Cecil! Where are you? Saskia needs help, Cecil. Philippa can produce an antidote, but she needs a magic artifact to do that. Would you like a fern and a dancing worm to go with it? Listen, I don't know about magic, but there is a place. As long as I can remember, it's been of interest to sorcerers. They say it's a very strong intersection. Look for magic there. Where exactly is there? Seek out the ruins in the forest beyond Bergen. There's a place of power there. You can't miss it. Why so glum? Saskia's a tough girl. She'll bounce back. Keep your head up. Thanks, Cecil. No, Witcher. I thank you. Save that lass, and you'll save my town. Good deal, good deal. So let's go see if we can't get out of here now. I just like how they don't give a fuck if you take their stuff. All these orins laying around I'm like, ah, they're mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Not many, but you know, over time it, it adds up. Thinking about visiting the uh one of the uh the shops before I leave simply because uh see like how am I gonna get out of here? Oh, I see. So we can go through here. Can't go through there. Okay, so we are gonna have to go to the uh, or pass the the shops anyway. So that's all good. I thought there was a. Thought there might have been a run button. I thought there. No, no, no. Put that away. I don't want to get yelled at by someone. Seems like the dwarves are more. Uh, Allowing of like you just had walking around with your weapons because I shot a fireball and no one said anything I was really surprised because I thought they'd be like uh, What are you doing <laughs> put that away? <laughs> but hey, I mean if they don't they don't so okay, I'm looking for weapons or something or At least sell uh, So this is him, okay? Oh, wait, this is me. And this is him. Okay, cool. Oh, shoot, look at that. Let me sell weapons. I have a bunch of stuff I don't need. Sell... So 
bastard sword. Hang on, what are my weapons right now? I don't know my damage. Uh, steel sword, 13 to 18, and this is 10 to 17. Okay, so anything, anything silver better than that. Better than that, okay. So all these aren't very good, so I don't really mind to sell them. I don't have very much money, but that's kind of... That's really strong. Holy crap. 40 to 50 damage. I'm going to keep those. Oils, whatever. <laughs> I can sell it, but... Junk. I'm definitely selling that. Crafting, I'll hold on to Karen trophy. For fifty-one. I don't really need I don't need the money right now, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, uh no no no, no I wanna talk to you. How much was either one of your swords? So weapons. You have all my garbage I sold you. God, 30 to 40. That's fucking crazy, man. It's expensive as balls. <laughs> like, that's awesome. That is an awesome attack. Or awesome uh, damage, like oh, so six seventeen. So probably by the time I get back, I should have enough. Maybe it'll be close. Wait, am I going the right way? Yeah, because I need to go. Okay, I need to go this way. Cool. Hi. Let one stray in, and before you know it, the neighborhood's... Well, let's go drink, friends. I'm gonna get as drunk as a lord. Why is that? They stole Who's talking? It. The no. poor bird stole it. My dream is gone. And then what's the grin for? Night after night, I dreamed of my dead wife for years. Let's go for some liquor. Drinks on me. Okay, so this way. That was weird how the com the audio was, uh, the narration was still coming through even though I wasn't even near it. So let's get my silver sword out for now. Let's see if we can't find these ruins and get our item. I don't know how he dodged, I didn't... Oh, if I double tap he does. Hey, some Scoyotel, I think, yeah. Ah! You finally given in. Started killing humans. Hey, Witcher. Started that a while ago, actually. Just wasn't something society was willing to acknowledge. Fultus death. Society acknowledged that. You know there's a price on your head. Yeah, I know. Too low for the risks involved, though. It's a bundle to us, Witcher. We have to pay for everything. Weapons, food, information. You have it send you? Yorvith will never learn of this. Seriously? Holy shit! These guys are fucking crazy! Boom! Child's play. <laughs> so what do these guys have on them? Arrest warrant. Great. Nah... They had, they had nothing on them. I'm gonna waste my time. Okay. So. What do we got around here? Ooh. 
Uh oh. Why can't I jump? What? Do I have to run around or? I don't get it. Eat shit and die! Oh, what the fuck? Who are these jokers? Oh, I said. Why did they say it like that? Who are these jokers? What in the world? What was that about? You gotta watch out though. You guys are crazy. Oh shit! Oh my god! There's so many of them! Get out the way, I'll wreck you! <laughs> nice. I am a monster. <laughs> I fucking killed everyone. Looks like it's blocked off, okay. Looks like we're getting closer to where we're supposed to be though. Hopefully. Except I can't really tell. <laughs> oh, we just made a complete fucking circle. get up there to find a way to go up easier said than done okay let me take a look at the map see what we got so it's in the center here looks like I excuse me looks like I can drop down is that what that's saying so I turn around. Hang on, I went right. Let's go left. Maybe there's like some tunnel or something will lead us there. No, because this was just the beginning again. Okay. It's up there. I see it. How do I get up there? And there has to be a path or something. Oh, no. Huh. The fuck was that? Ew! What was... Uh, what? What are those things? Damn, you're ugly. Oh, it's a harpy. 
Interesting. Ah! Ah! Path! Yes! <laughs> Finally! Please bring me where I'm supposed to go. Or at least where I want to be. I have no idea. Is he going to jump? Is Geralt going to jump? He's going to jump. <laughs> cool, man! Leave me alone! Level up! There we go. You're annoying! Shut up! There we go. Okay, so he said his medallion was... going off. Holy shit, these things are annoying. Holy cow, look at this thing. Whoa, he had, like power gloves. What? That was cool. No, no, I don't want that one. Her. Or it. Eh, I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think I really need anything. Okay. So we got anything? Magical crystal. Give item to Philippa. Sure thing. It seemed a lot easier than it was going to be. I thought that was going to be really hard. <laughs> the only hard part was fighting the harpies and all of those like little drowner guys or whatever they were. Because those, those uh, soldiers, they weren't hard. They weren't hard to fight at all. So we had to kill some Scoyatel. Hopefully Yorveth understands and he's not very mad at us. I mean, I don't, I've, I don't even know where he is. I haven't seen him recently. He didn't look like, he didn't look like he was at the inn anywhere. He might have been. I might have looked over him, but I didn't see him. So a little bit of lag there. Loading in stuff. It's understandable. Understandable. So where are we going? The inn? I believe so. Maybe not maybe not even the inn. Uh, maybe somewhere else. Okay, let me just look. Uh do 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 do. When you go down here, it's not to the end, it's uh, it's to where she lives. Okay. That's right, or at least where she is. Not necessarily lives. Uh, I don't know if she. Wait. I suppose. No, I wasn't supposed to go down here. Wait, where the fuck am I? <laughs> I don't even know where I am. Hi! Hi! Oh yeah, I know where I am now. Here we go. Now we want to go this way, I believe. I think she's back here. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so... Now, what else do we need? Anything else? I don't remember. Wake up, bitch! <laughs> you wanted to discuss something. Why does she sound like she's so nasally? I found one of the ingredients for Saskia's cure. Show me. Interesting. Getting warmer. But still not there. It's as if I'd sent you to get me the sun and you'd brought me a candle. We need something massive, an item of real power, Geralt. This is a dwarf's dream. Stolen and magically encased in this crystal, it would do if it was stronger. You know what this means? 
In addition to normal harpies, there are Solano in the area. Solano? Dream Snatchers. The only harpy species to develop something resembling intelligence. They magically bind dreams to mountain crystals. I heard they once inhabited this area. Solano live among regular harpies, but their lair should be full of stolen dreams. One of those would be powerful enough, I'm sure. You'd have to enter the harpy lair through the quarry. Unfortunately, the gate to the caves is locked and Cecil Burden won't open it. I asked him on another occasion. Stubborn as a mule, that one. But we must not relent. Saskia clings to life by a thread. Let me show you the desire contained in this particular dream. Don't be hasty to judge. Hmm. Yes, I can feel it. Whose dream is it? Cecil Burden's. In that case, I need to see the Alderman. Got a feeling he just might open the gate for me. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> I pushed around. Sorry. So let's see if you want to open the gate for us. Like, Cecil, you please open it. I need to go. <laughs> Pretty please. <laughs> Cecil, my friend. Hope he's still home. Get up! Oh, do 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 do. Cecil, do you know anyone who fought in the war three years ago? I did. Did you fight here at Vergen? Of course. Philip claims you know a bit about the battle. That old kook insult, called king by some, thought that Adernians were bumpkins who'd ship bricks as soon as his troops crossed the river. Why did he attack Edern? According to Hensult, Upper Edern is the ancient legacy of the Kedwini crown and must be returned to the mother country. Brazen farter. That brazen farter had a point. If you read some history, you'll know that 300 years ago this land belonged to Kedwin. Lord of Crab. 700 years ago, the elves reigned here. And a million years ago, these lands were the domain of the worms. If things weren't that way, every king could invade a neighboring land and claim his right to do so because an ancestor took a dump there. All right. Hensel wanted to conquer Upper Edern. What then? He rolled in, got hammered, and rolled out. Cecil, that doesn't help me much. It wasn't a battle. It was a slaughter. If I try speaking of it, I'll see it all again. I don't want... The ghosts of the Fallen fight in the mist. They turn into horrible creatures called Draugrs. Edernians, Kedweni, men, elves, and dwarves too. Bloody hell. No peace even after death. I want to help them, but I need to know more about the battle. Very well. Listen. A beautiful day. That grew hot later. Very hot. When van der Grift attacked in the afternoon, he sent the Dun Banner at the fore. Many of our lads shit themselves at the mere sight of their standard, but we had a surprise of our own. Under the cover of night, we prepared fire pits. Our archers lit them up at the right moment. I still can't believe we managed to fool their scouts. If it wasn't for that ambush, we wouldn't be speaking today. They likely wouldn't be in Upper Edern at all. We decimated the Dun Banner, but that was only the beginning. Selkirk was our commander. Everywhere he appeared, the Kidwenis gave ground. He wreaked havoc among them. Hearts rose at the mere sight of his armor. Then, Van de Grift himself entered the fray. Seltkirk met him in the middle of the field. In the end, Van de Grift killed Seltkirk. A terrible death that sent the Adernian ranks into disarray. I thought it was the end of us. Then the sky fell, as if the stars themselves had decided to avenge the death of a great knight. Fire covered the battlefield. Nobody sought the enemy. They were all looking for somewhere to flee. Yes. They were no more friends and enemies. Only the living and the dead. They say it was the doing of a Kidwini sorceress who wanted revenge on Vandergrift. Could be true, as Henseld had her executed right after the battle. Did you see the duel between Seltkirk and Vandergrift? I stood half a furlong from them. Never seen a fight like it. Probably never will again. They'd already met once, at a jousting tournament in Ard Kareg. Selkirk won there. He beat on the visitor so hard he broke his sword. Selkirk was a true knight, 
The last of his breed. Vandergrift was so pissed off after that tournament, he hanged the smith who made his sword and ordered a special one from a sorcerer. I bet he cut down Selkirk with that new sword. Vandergrift is dead. What happened to his sword? Saskia's got it. Good thing, too. Only her hand can tame the hatred enchanted in that sword. After the battle, when the flames abated, the scavengers came. They stole everything. Imagine. Not a single keepsake or Selkirk in the Hall of Edern. His brother babbles something about a gauntlet, but he's a lying dog. You captured the Dunbanner standard? Hensel's choice troops, and not a one survived. The visitor sent them to their deaths. Refused to give them reinforcements. He was a monster in human form. The men of the Dun were real swaggerers. Killed a lot of our lads, but for every Dunner, there were seven Adernians. They had no chance. Aye, we captured their standard. We buried what was left of them in the crypts beyond Vergen. Their standard lies with them. Worthy foes are to be respected, even in death. I'm going to need that standard. Thanks, Cecil. That was helpful. I think I know what I need to lift the curse now. Madam Eilhart claims you need four symbols. The standard symbolizes death. Vandegrift's sword stands for hatred. What about the other two? I have a feeling Philippa has a handle on the rest. Here's hoping you're right. Interesting. Uh, but I need this one too. I need to get inside the harpy lair. No chance. I know all about the harpies. They steal dreams, collect them. I found one, but it proved too weak for our purposes. I need a stronger one. So I'm asking you nicely. Open the damn gate. Listen, Witcher. I want Saskia to recover, I do. But don't ask me to turn this town into a circus just before we battle Hensalt. My grandfather locked that gate for a good reason. Imagine if we could all go in there to look at those dreams. Dwarves, peasants, their Scoia'tael, Adernian nobles even. All seeing the desires of others. Terrifying. It would be the end of Vergen. What's more, legend has it the oldest stolen dreams can become reality. And I don't want nightmares stalking Vergen's back alleyways come nightfall. Open it. I'll make it quick. Stop pissing me off. You're acting like a drunk suitor. No means no. You know, don't know if I should mention this, but the dream I found belongs to you. What are you talking about? It's an embarrassing affliction, I imagine. Hell, even something of a political liability in your case. Some might even call you a freak. You're the alderman. An ages-old tradition is vested in you. On top of that, you now lead the preparations for Vergen's defense. You wouldn't dare. Imagine your ancestors carved in stone. Condemnation, not pride on their bearded faces. Who knows? Maybe you'd keep your office, but you'd be the talk of the town for ages. And your nephew? Poor kid. I'll open the gate. I promised Scalen's mother I'd be sober as a judge to the end of my days. And I aim to keep my word. I don't give a damn about ages-old traditions and piss on loose talk. But you're right. I cannot compromise Vergen's morale. You must bury this thing. The secret dies with you, never to be spoken aloud. Understand? I do. Thanks, Cecil. And good luck staying sober. <laughs>